Now at five, there is growing frustration tonight for dozens of people forced to evacuate their Chestnut Hill apartments because of a fire. Now, the fire was quickly put out yesterday, but more than 24 hours later, people there still not allowed back in. WBZ's Lisa Gresci is live for us in Chestnut Hill tonight with more on the situation. Lisa? David Anaritis, right now, firefighters and city officials are waiting for an update and the electrical testing to come back to make sure it's safe enough for residents in the North Tower to move back in and when. And that's an update hundreds have been waiting for. It wasn't easy. We were able to get my wife's medications. And that was it. All day, residents showed up to the Chestnut Hill complex wanting to know when they could come home. I feel displaced and frustrated that we don't know what's going on here. It was rattling. Inside, my stomach was turning. Overnight, the more than 800 residents displaced by the single-unit apartment fire had to find a place to stay. With my son. Yeah. The fire has been ruled accidental. Firefighters believe painters in the unit at the time placed a tarp over the stove. I saw flashes of light come down the hall. I had to gather a few belongings and walk down 15 flights. Some were allowed back inside this afternoon only for what was necessary. There is no power, no elevators. There's no way to get to your unit except by walking. That's a lot of work for the resident and for the firefighters who have to accompany them. Firefighters say the fire affected the tower's electrical system and can't say exactly how much damage was done. It depends if the equipment has to be replaced. That's going to take a little bit longer. It's a very peculiar feeling <laughs> to lose your home. Um, and I feel very unanchored. The fire chief tells us the move-in process will likely happen in phases, one building at a time and one floor at a time. Right now, we're still waiting for that update for the North Tower, but I can tell you right now, we know a 10 a.m. update is scheduled for people living in the South Tower. People are also urged to be checking the city's website. For more updates, reporting live here in Newton, Lisa Greshi, WBZ News.